Hi there, you're very welcome to AIT's Open Day 2020. My name is Audrey O'Byrne and I lecture here at the Athlone Institute of Technology across a number of faculties. Languages, namely French and German, are my main subject areas. I'll endeavour to give you a brief overview of the language module uh, of the Bachelor of Business in International Business. Hello and welcome to an introduction to the Bachelor of Business Honours in International Business, CAO course code AL859. My name is Neve Dunn and I'm a lecturer in the Faculty of Business and Hospitality at AIT. Today I'm going to talk you through some of the key points of this four-year Level 8 Honours degree in International Business. Hopefully this video will help answer any questions that you may have and help you decide if this is the course for you. So to get things started, let's have a look at what you might study over the course of the four years of this degree. In the earlier years of this subject, students will get to study many business related topics whilst also having the options to select electives in areas that they find most interesting in the final two years of their degree. Key business subjects that are studied include accounting, finance, economics, management, marketing, supply chain management, human resource management, law and information and communications technology. All of these subjects are taught in the context of international businesses. As the course progresses, students will be able to further develop their international business skills by looking at negotiation in an international business context. Con dealing with contemporary issues in international business and what is happening economically around the world. For example, at this moment in time, Brexit and the impact COVID is having on businesses and their supply chains. A cultural diversity and employment and the importance of that in the current context of work. And finally, an applied international research project where students will bring all of their learnings across all of the topics and apply to a real life situation. So given the breadth of subjects and the interest in international business, why would you study this course at AIT? What are some of the reasons that makes this different from some other offerings? Well, firstly, when we look at AIT, again, we've been nominated this year and won the Sunday Times Institute of Technology of the Year Award 2020. Um, a huge part behind this award is the fact that AIT focus is on student-centered learning. For example, over the course of your four years studying international business, you will experience different learning techniques adopted across the course. This can include team-based learning. This allows students to develop problem-solving skills and international skills as it helps students to work together in teams, collaborate with each other, all things that they will be doing in the context of a real business. The continued focus on projects and real-life case studies will help bring theories and ideas to life so students can apply them practically to real-world situations, which will become invaluable to any employer. There will also be practical workshops where students can apply the theory uh, to particular situations. And we also use flipped classrooms for a number of subjects. Flipped classrooms allow students to learn more deeply and participate actively in their learning, which is essential to go beyond just knowledge and really understand the material. There's also an option if you wanted to study abroad to further internationalize your experience at one of AIT's many partner colleges across the EU and abroad. There's also a, the a mandatory language that's included as part of this course. This is a key offering of this course to differentiate yourself against any other business graduate. There's a shortage in language skills currently in Ireland. And this is, offers a huge opportunity for students to improve in this area and also give them the opportunity to work abroad in other jurisdictions. This degree course offers students the opportunity to study the key international business subjects, as my colleague Neve has already highlighted, along with the choice of either French language or Chinese language as a mandatory option. The opportunities for a career in business with languages continue to increase in a globalised environment and within the context of Brexit, it is now more important than ever before for our graduates to have a solid foundation in an international language. 
While there's a strong uptake in a number of languages at second level, unfortunately, only about 4% of students elect to study languages at third level. And this means that there's a, a distinct lack of language capacity in Ireland with all the associated social and economic drawbacks. The world's economy, as we know, is an increasingly global economy. And as a result, demand continues to grow for graduates who understand the global uh, context of business from the logistics of international trade to cultural and ethical issues. And given the fact that Ireland's top trading partners include Belgium, the Netherlands, France, Germany, Spain, and of course, China, it's really important that AIT's graduates are prepared to, for international engagement in business. Uh, according to the uh, European Commission's Languages for Jobs publication, um, companies who are looking for language skills are generally in search of recruits with the ability to apply these skills to a variety of different work situations. And they're looking for good communicators, regardless of language, as well as the ability to work in multilingual and multicultural teams. So as part of your study programme at the Athlone Institute of Technology for the Bachelor of Business International, you'll be required to choose either a French language or a Chinese language as your mandatory language option. And these languages will be offered at ab initio beginner level. And there are no prerequisites for uh, undertaking the study of these languages. So you'll study your chosen language across all semesters. The teaching and learning strategies of our language modules will be interactive and will involve group work for the development of oral language production and many different types of learner centered strategies will be employed to promote both shared and autonomous learning uh, among students and language classes, of course, will be characterized by a high level of uh, student participation. The industry placement is a key part of the development of this course. A 20 week placement with an industry international business where students can take the learnings from our course and apply them in a real world situation. Not only does this bring to life the topics for a student and really uh, in depth the learning, it also provides invaluable experience that a student can put on their CV to take um, into them with the future in terms of graduating. Some of the industry partners that AIT have worked with in the past across other faculties include some of the companies above. You'll recognize some of these key brand players um, and any student would be delighted to get some experience in some of these large corporations. So bearing all this in mind, students may be thinking, what are the careers that I can go into after completing this course? Or what are the, some of the other opportunities that I may be able to avail of? Well, there are a number of options. When we think about Ireland, it's an excellent place to attract foreign direct investment. And Ireland is very attractively placed to attract further foreign direct investment due to our highly educated workforce, the fact that English is one of our main languages and that we have access to the EU. Um, in addition to the fact that we have a favourable tax regime um, and are very easy to do business on. According to IDA Ireland, we have 14 out of 15 of the top medical tech companies. The top five global software companies also call Ireland home. Um, a number of financial services companies, 18 out of 25, are located here. All of this means that there are a number of opportunities for graduates that possess the relevant international skills to be able to take up roles within these multinational environments. More specifically, we can look at the kind of roles that students could potentially venture into on completion of their four-year degree. Well, there'll be many opportunities across a range of functions within any international business. Again, management, administration, accounting, banking, finance, marketing and sales, human resource management, and computing and information technology. There is huge opportunity for multilingual graduates who have that second language that they're able to communicate and converse at a business level with other jurisdictions. Students not only have the opportunity to go straight into work after the four year degree, they also may decide to do some further study. Again, entry into the Masters of Business at AIT would be available to graduates on this programme or other master's programs across other institutions in Ireland and across the EU may also be an option for students who wish to further internationalize their career. 
maybe you might join one of the many AIT graduates that have emigrated and are now working abroad across the world in a variety of different roles. That might be you someday. So what are the entry requirements? We might like to look at the subjects and we might think, yes, this is the course for us. Again, this is a new offering for AIT in 2020. So the CAO points, um, I don't have a previous version to give you an indication of what they might be. For comparison, our business ab initio program landed in on the CAO at 309 points last year. Now that's not to say that that will be the entry level for this particular course, it's going to be directed by demand, but it's just to give an indication of the level that we potentially are looking at. In terms of the minimum requirements, if someone's coming in via leave insert, what we're looking for is in a grade H5 in two subjects, plus grade O6 or H7 in four other subjects. Two of these subjects must be a language and mathematics, so the language can be English or Irish. Entrance coming through the QQI, again, we're looking for a level five award, full award with a minimum of eight modules with distinction required in three modules. For either entryway into um, languages will be taken from, there's no prerequisite required in terms of languages. I hope this video has given you some idea of and it, what you likely experience if you're deciding to, to study our international business degree. Um, from us and the rest of the faculty, we look forward to welcoming you to AIT and hoping that you experience that student-centered learning and student approach. Thanks for your attention and for any further queries, please contact the Faculty of Business and Hospitality.